Hello everyone, welcome to our uh, Sunday evening broadcast. Uh, again, we're uploading it after we record it at 8.02 p.m. Eastern Time, August 21st, 2022. Good evening everyone, James Barkus with you. Uh, if you'd like to help us, well, we've been having some technical issues lately and that's why we're recording then uploading. So, as we get to this point here, you want to give us some help, um, give us some help. PayPal.me forward slash JBM Vineyard. You can also send a check or money order to James Barkus Ministries, Box 762, Manchester, Georgia, 31816. Uh, prayer requests and testimonies, JBM Prayer at Live.com. Booking for events and revivals, JBM World HQ at Live.com. You can also send us an invitation uh, to... Uh, events, revivals, and they send us your prayer requests and testimonies by mail as well. Uh, look for us on Twitter, both at JBM Prayer and JBM World HQ. Also, we have WhatsApp. And that is an app that we use for our prayer line. We're going to come up with a prayer line very, very soon. We're still in the setup stages of it, but we do have WhatsApp. It is downloaded. We're going to figure out how to work it. Uh, you don't want to miss that. Well, this morning we started teaching on life principles, and we'll be continue that next Sunday. Um... But tonight is a different topic. We always have somewhere that the devil tries to attack us. That the devil tries to take us out. But let's go one more slide here and tell you our service times before I get going too far on the service here. Sunday mornings are usually at 11 a.m., but we're recording and uploading because of our technical issues here at the uh, World Headquarters here. Sunday evening at 8 p.m., Wednesday evening Bible study at 8 p.m. And we thank you so much for joining us today. I'm James Barkus. Our website's right there, jamesbarkusministries.wordpress.com. Our blog is up. And um, it can't be stated enough that we have a shelter of the storm. You know, when, when a thunderstorm hits and we're supposed to go into a shelter, the shelter is usually an interior room, lowest floor, keep helmets, hard sole shoes, and so on, uh, safety boots or what have you, because of what could happen as you climb out of debris. That's true. That's in the case of a tornado. That is actually some good advice. More than a few times in my lifetime I've seen where a church has been hit, and hit pretty hard. There's a memorial that stands outside Goshen United Methodist Church in Alabama. But there is another shelter. This one is a spiritual shelter. And we're going to begin learning from there. Psalm 91.1 He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, for the arrow that flieth by day nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. 
A thousand shall fall at thy side, ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. They shall tread, thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder. The young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen? That means Psalm 91 is a promise given by God. To all of us who call upon him in our time of need. And there's been times I've needed to call upon him and call upon him I have. I still call him. So What do we do? We have adversity. We see technical difficulties or whatever. What we do, whatever. What do we do? We call upon His name, the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There are a lot of preachers that don't tell you that. I do. Because if I'm going to give the whole word, I'm going to give the whole word of God. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I am not going to tell you one thing and mean another. That's not what God programmed pastors to do. Yes, pastors are men, just like everybody else. But we have a higher responsibility as preachers and teachers of the Word, as evangelists and pastors of the Word of God. We have souls we are responsible for. We have souls we got to take care of. And that's one of the life principles pastors have to learn. Is when you take on the mantle, you are representing God Almighty and Jesus Christ. You represent them. I kid you not. It is a responsibility we have to look to the one that calls us. Yes, I'm wearing a comfortable shirt. I walked over, I got hot. And yes, I'm cooling off. I walked over to the grocery store, walked over to the dollar store side by side, about three blocks from the house. And I 
keep thinking, you know, war's brought me from a mighty place, a mighty long place. Because when I was living in Roanoke, Alabama, it was still with my family, I couldn't do a ministry because all the rest of them were Jehovah's Witnesses. And the Lord said, I know your situation. I hear your groaning. I hear your pain, James. But there will come a time you will bring the word to them. And I try to. Through this medium called YouTube. I don't call myself a pastor. I don't call myself... evangelist for the sake of the title. That's just the job I do. I call myself brother. Because I am a brother to all the brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. I am a brother. Honestly put. This is what the Lord called me to do. To be that brother. So here we are, in the Word of God, and learning, and teaching, and preaching the Word of God. Psalm 91 is fairly short, but it includes everything that Jehovah and His Son Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost have promised. You'll see 10,000 follow at thy right hand. Who shall come nigh thee? <coughs> Sorry about that. Try teaching the word with a sneeze coming on. There you go. Pollen has hit me. And I know I'll get healing when I get that new heavenly body. But right now, I'm sorry to put up with what I gotta put up with. But the Lord Jesus Christ, as he hung on Calvary, and that other robber just lit up in him saying, <coughs> Excuse me. That other robber lit up in him saying, If you're the Christ, why don't you save yourself and us too? The other guy said, Dost not thou fear God? Yeah, we're on this because rightly so. We've done our part. We're getting our full measure. But this man has done nothing amiss. And one rebuking the one that said if you're the Christ, save us. Save yourself and us. The other robber turned to Jesus and, and said, Lord, remember me when you enter the kingdom. And Jesus Christ said, Verily I say unto you, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. Jesus knew where he was going. Jesus knew what he was doing. Jesus knew he had souls to save, and the first soul to get saved was right there on the cross, beside him on the other cross. There were three men hanging on crosses. Two of them went to glory. One went to hell. Guess which one went to hell? And that's the one that judged Jesus. Guess which one went with Jesus? The one that knew he did wrong, he made a mistake, and he said, Jesus, remember when you get to your kingdom. He had a guy on one cross saying, Save yourself and us. And another one that just said, Well, remember me when you get to your kingdom.
so who went to hell and who went to heaven pretty good answer James 117 from earlier today every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the father of lights with whom is no variableness neither shadow of turning of his own will he begat he us with the word of truth and that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures <laughs> And you know what? We get to a point that we don't know the way except one way, and that's Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, who is, who was, and whoever shall be. Dale Romans road takes you have it notice there. But for all of sin and come short of the glory of God. Romans six twenty three for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. But God commendeth his love towards us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. There you have it. Whosoever calls, calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I know I didn't do this earlier today. I cut it short because I... I had to regroup. I had to do some things to keep my mind from suffering. So I'm going to ask you right now. Are you at a crossroads right now? You're just wondering where you're at in the path of your life, your career. Maybe you've got a job that just doesn't yeah, it fulfills your needs financially, it fulfills other needs, but it does not fulfill your needs spiritually. I know one person who can fulfill every need you have. Need a friend? Need a comforter? Need the spirit of truth? Need someone to lead you in your life? That man is Jesus Christ.
He'll lead you. He's led me to this point. Yes, I'm wearing something comfortable tonight and not church-like, but... Hey, I walked over. I know i got a few aches and pains on me, but that's fine. Jesus is helping me right now. In the, in the name of Jesus, He's helping me. But I had to get comfortable for my joints and for my bones and what have you. So, let me pray with you. Heavenly Father Jehovah, I thank you for this day. I thank you for the blessings you poured out upon me to help people find their way to you. Jehovah, I ask you right now that you lead these people to Jesus Christ, your Son. And to those of you who are sin, Father Jehovah, I'm lost. I can't find my way out. I've looked for the exit everywhere, everywhere, and I can't find it. Save me from this miry clay that I've gotten myself into, Lord. Pull me out of it. Set me on bedrock. That solid rock that is your foundation. Help me get there, O oh Lord. I give my life to you, Lord. And Jehovah, I am yours. Use me how you see fit. I ask the Holy Spirit to come into me, to dwell in me, and to give me the spirit of truth to discern what I need to discern. In the name of Jesus Christ. I believe it and I receive it. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 And Father, I'm going to pray this prayer very quickly. Father, those that prayed that prayer, asking for your help, I, I ask you right now that you give them the help they need if they prayed it with me, and that they are saved, and that they become part of the family in the name of Jesus Christ. And they receive the Spirit of truth. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. This is another short one tonight because I don't want to overtax the computer that I have and I also don't want to overtax the uh, system either because the electrical system is using the cable as a ground as I learned a few days ago. So I'm praying in the name of Jesus that an electrician will come along pray that they look on our situation and are able to help us the best way that they can and to bless us with what we need which is a good and proper ground for our world headquarters, our house, our everything, rolled into one. There is an electrician out there that knows. Just call, give me a call or send me an email, jbmworldhq at live.com, or call me, area code 706 977 By the way, I'm on listed on getordained.org, so if you are in need minister I'm here the Lord's called me to ministry to preach his word no matter the situation in the name of Jesus I will do it always on that note I'm James Barkus, and I want to thank you for joining us. And once again, our service times, Sunday morning at 11 a.m., Sunday evening, 8 p.m., Wednesday evening at 8 p.m., 
And of course, you can help us. PayPal.me forward slash JBM Vineyard, or you can send check and money order with your tithe or offering or what have you. James Barkas Ministries, PO Box 762, Manchester, Georgia 31816. If you want to hand deliver a case of Bibles for our link to the Word program, by all means, 302 West 3rd Street, Manchester, Georgia 31816. Please use UPS, FedEx, or hand delivery for that. Easier to track. If you do hand deliver it, you get to see me, you get to see my wife too. Praise the Lord on that. Prayer requests and testimonies, jbmprayer at live.com. If you got saved tonight with the sinner's prayer and the, the uh, uh, Romans Road that I led you down, please let us know. Tell us. We want to hear from you. Booking for events and revivals, jbmworldhq at live.com. we got WhatsApp, we got Twitter. And that's more than I can manage. And we need people too. So if you're good at social media, if you're good at monitoring social media or what have you, by all means, let us know. Send your resume, jbmworldhq at live.com, and tell us. On that note, I want to thank you so much for joining us tonight. We praise the Lord for you. We pray for you. Have a great night. May God richly bless you and keep you.